One of the best ways to analyze stocks is to use key metrics such as the PE ratio, ROIC, ROE, debt to equity, enterprise value, and a lot more. In this video, I'm going to share with you how it is that you can automatically get tens of important and very useful key metrics right on your Excel spreadsheet for over 50 plus exchanges worldwide better yet you're going to be able to get this data on an annual basis quarterly basis as well as a ttm basis okay so we're going to start with the easiest way to get key metrics on your excel or google sheet spreadsheet this method works on both platforms so what you need to do is to get the y sheets add-on either on excel or google sheets in this case we're using excel and then from here, what you're going to see once you log in with an account, which by the way, you can create a free one on the link in the description, is that you're going to be able to search a company by symbol or company name. So for example, let's say that we want to get the key metrics for Apple. In that case, we're going to type Apple. And what's going to happen is that you're going to see the symbol and the exchange. So this is the one that we're looking for. And then here you can select whether you want annual data or quarterly data. In this case, we're going to select annual data. And also, if you're a subscriber, you also get the chance to reverse the financial statement dates. In this case, we won't enable that. Click on get data. And what's going to happen is that you're going to get all of the financial statements. So in this case, I'm going to zoom in. But you can see that we get the income statement going back all the way 2004. We get the balance sheet, cash flow statement, financial growth, and really what we're looking for, which are the key metrics. So as you can see, there's tons of key metrics that you can access. There's all of this ones and they're on a historical basis. So if you do quarterly, this would be quarter by quarter and you will be able to see all those different ones. So revenue per share, net income per, per share, current ratio, dividend yield ratio, all this super valuable key metrics are gonna be available right here and you can access them in a historical basis. Something that I like to do, which is quite helpful actually, is insert a column and then what you can do is go on insert, spark lines, and then you can select whether you want a line or column. In this case, let's pick a column, select the data range. So in this case, it's going to be here. Click OK. And then we're going to put this in blue, this blue actually. And if I scroll back, look at this. Now you're going to be able to see trends more easily in terms of the different key metrics that you're analyzing. So this is going to be quite helpful to be able to spot trends. But most importantly, what I want to show you is how you can get key metrics for a list of stocks. So that way you can compare them more easily and find the relevant, important financial opportunities that you can exploit. Okay, so what we have here is a list of the most important semiconductor stocks that are available uh, in the U.S., so with Y sheets, we were just looking at the statement done function, but if you go to the Y's function right here, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna be able to see how this custom function works. And there's a tutorial that you can also utilize to get only the data that you're looking for. So rather than getting all the key metrics at once, you only get the key metrics that you're looking for. So let's say that these are the key metrics that we're looking for. And we can copy paste them from the statement dump that we did before. Or if you click here, available data, that will take you to the website where you can see what key metrics are available. And again, you can copy paste them. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare all these different uh, stocks in the same industry, get their key metrics. And doing this type of analysis makes it a lot more easy to spot good opportunities to explore further. So for that, we're going to enter the symbol. And then the function asks us parameters. So we can select the parameters. And then periods. Uh, as you can see here, you can enter specific year. You can enter LY, that's the last year. LQ, that's the latest quarter, or TTM. My personal favorite is TTM because it provides you with um, 
the most recent number. So the PE ratio would be the PE ratio based on the current price of the stock and the latest earnings. Same with the price to sales ratio and all the other ratios. So this is literally the best way to do it. What you need to do here also is to lock in the cells properly. And this is so that we can then take this, drag it across. And again, this stock list could literally have hundreds of stocks and we could just drag it and get all the data that we're looking for. And then here, now we can more easily compare the different key metrics across stocks. So as you can see, the one that has the lower PE ratio is Intel and same with the other ratios. But in second place, we have Qualcomm, which could be a good opportunity as well to explore. And the cool thing too is that if I go here, I've already created uh, this graph, but you can also insert graphs. You can see how we have this graph that was made already. And here this allows you to easily visualize um, the metrics that most matter to you. And you can do this again across different stocks. Something which is even better is that you can also go right here to wise templates and here there's a there's a template that you can use it's called key metric stock comparison so you click on it and it's going to download an excel file that already has the functions and everything set up once you download it it's going to look exactly like this and so the cool thing is that it has a whole bunch of key metrics already so we're going to expand this and in this case here, you can see how you can also get the key metrics in this matter as opposed to having them up top. And then in this case, we have the companies right here. We have all the functions already set up. So that way, all you need to do is either refresh the data. So for example, right now this is live data. So we would wanna refresh it. If you go to the wise price function, which is where you get the live data, we have the refresh button. So there you go. Or you could also change the company. So for example, let's say that we wanted to change, um, in this case, Shopify, we're gonna change it to Microsoft. What's gonna happen is that as you can see, all the data will update and that way you'll, you will be able to do your analysis very quickly. Now you're probably thinking with all this data and key metrics available, is it possible that I can make my own custom screener on Excel or Google Sheets? And the answer is yes. As you can see right now, this is an example. And so here we have different key metrics and we can filter by them. So I can see, let's say the ones that have the highest price to book ratio, the lowest price to book ratio, um, I could add criteria based on formulas. Uh, you could also get financials, not just key metrics, etc. And the cool thing is that we have an entire video on how to create your own custom Excel stock screener on Excel. And the same concept applies for Google Sheets. You can check that in our channel. And most importantly, if you're watching this video, we're very excited to be releasing a dedicated screener function on Ysheets that's gonna allow you to get data like this in a more simple way than having to use the functions and whatnot. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments. I'll send you a link so you get registered for the launch. And there you have it. Now you know how to get stock key metrics like a real pro on Excel so you can get uh, so you can find the best stock investment opportunities out there and ultimately have that reflect in your portfolio, taking another leap of success. Now you know how to get all the stock key metrics that you need on your Excel spreadsheet like a pro so you can take your stock analysis to the next level and make better investment decisions. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new useful video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level. I'll see you in the next one.